Hello YouTubers, now, uh, so I'm getting blinded by the light on my camera so anyway I can do this. Uh, there was a video we put up the other day of the cameraman Johnny doing breaks, um, must watch it, it's quite funny. Obviously we had problems doing them with calipers and everything seized and stuff so I've got all the bits now and I'm going to show you how to put everything back together and it just goes to show you that you know just keep an eye on these things because now this is going to cost three times more than what it should do so just keep an eye on these things basically we have a second hand caliper obviously new pads new discs gonna put it all on uh bleed the brakes and do the usual stuff you know so yeah get cracking on so obviously from the first video we've, we've took taken out the pads and obviously taken off the caliper so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the carrier, which is this bracket here, which actually holds the uh, caliper on. And like I always say, make sure these are all nice and loose, which they are. So I'd say it's either 17 or 19 mil socket. So I'm going to whip off both of them. It's actually a 18 mil. Now, the carrier is now off, we need to clean that, we'll do that in a minute. Now I'll show you once we get this off, just the damage it's done to the back of this brake having no pad on. First what we need to do is hold on the disc, it's two torques, so we need to get a torque and remove them. So it's a T30 torque, now to be fair it's normally easier to leave the caliper on wedge a screwdriver between the disc and the carrier and it stops it from moving obviously i took it off so i can't do that hopefully these aren't too tight as it turns out they are so i'm gonna have to try and wedge a screwdriver in through here i do prefer to do it the other way but obviously i can't so i'm gonna see if i can get this wedge somewhere Screwdriver. Is this on work? Right, I think that one's going to work for us. Oh, these are tight. These shouldn't be this tight. Oh, they're tight. Now, this is another common problem with these things. These can now snap. We might have to drill them out of the nightmare, but before I'm going to do that, there's a little trick I'm going to do that might loosen them, it might do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit them with the hammer to try and shock them. I'm also going to do is put one of the top bolts to carry it back on. Now, that should just help me wedge it in. Let's see what happens now. Now, as you can see, I've done it. So a few hits with a the hammer. They're really loose. So, that off take the pole back out and now this is free now as you can see doesn't look too bad from here even though there is a big lip there obviously this has been sat for a few days that's why it's gone rusty and um, when you turn it over you can see all this scoring that's where metal and metals where the pad which is here, as you can see, has no, no brake left on it and it's just been metal on metal which has destroyed the disc. And what's caused that is the caliper to seize. That's what's caused that. So basically the way around that is, once you feel your car pulling for no reason as if your foot's on the brake, well then you get it sorted straight away. You don't keep driving it. 
then all you'd have to do is obviously get a new caliper because it's seized but only just get new pads unless you're this Sargon of course so it'll save you however if you do it quick enough it'll save you money however you look at it so now I need to get the new disc and make sure the new discs are right now we have the new disc and obviously one of the first things you want to do is either you do this with your old disc or you can put it on the car is line it up make sure all the holes line up do what they're supposed to do this obviously is doing it then next thing you want to do is put both discs back to back and make sure the diameter is the same and then obviously put them front to front to make sure this part's the same it's very easy once you've got the old uh, disc beside you once you've done that as you can see there's all this kind of um greasy stuff on the brake it's to stop it from going rusty when it's in storage so we need to clean that now with brake fluid both sides and then we're ready to uh, shove it back on so i'm going to clean it now there's no point me showing you it. it's just Great clean, that's all it is. And then uh, I'll turn it back on um, when I've done that. Now, as you can see, I put it back on. So next thing to do is clean the carrier. Now, this is the carrier. Obviously, like I said, just make sure they're nice and free. They are. This is the part where the, the pad is actually on the carrier. Here and here, there's like a metal plate. So what we want to do is just get the wire brush and give that a good clean before we stick it on. It's easier to do when it's in your hand now than it is to do it when it's off. As you can see, I've cleaned it and I put it back on. Now don't tighten this back on with an air gun. Uh, I use basically a, a, a large ratchet to tighten them. You don't really tighten anything with an air gun on a car. It's not great. Um, well, I say that, obviously the bottom crankshaft pulley, but apart from that really, because Take stuff off with the air gun, no problem. But if you tighten that with the air gun, if you've got a powerful air gun, you can easily snap the bolt, which isn't good. So, that's done. Next thing I wanna do is put on the actual second hand new slash caliper. Now, first thing you wanna do is obviously make sure it's right. I have, it fits, everything is correct, so that's good. Right, YouTubers, fail number two. Uh, yeah wrong caliper now i know i said i checked it and i did but obviously didn't look at it closely enough basically the one we have on it was a lucas uh caliper and the one that i got second hand was a bosch and the way you tell that very simple they're written on it we can see that there they're written on it so it's not really a big deal it's not it's not really like hard to find let's say um now normally when you're in scrapyards, the good ones they do say look you know is what type of caliper's on it some cars there's just one some cars there's two or three different types so in other words this is fail number two um this is me doing it this time not the cameraman but anyway <laughs> and, uh, yeah so i'm gonna have to get the right caliper and uh do it again so anyway i'm gonna have to sign off um hope you enjoyed the video even though Nothing to enjoy, but anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget, get your hands dirty, see you for the next one.